In this video, I want to talk a little bit, a bit about the instruction cycle on LC3. Um, so we know that the instruction cycle is made up of uh, these stages. The stages are steps in my instruction cycle are instruction fetch followed by decode followed by evaluate address followed by operand fetch execute and store result so the question in uh, one of the homeworks is asking if uh, if you have to look at these stages and uh, see what, ask the question, what registers are used? By used, I mean either read or written to during each phase. Each step. If I ask that question, then to answer that first, we have to identify what are registers. So the table that was given to you was this table. So with the registers we're asking are the program counter, PC, the instruction register, the effective address register, the memory address register, and the memory data register. So let's just take one instruction. So we know that first off that the instruction fetch really does this. It takes whatever is in the PC and puts it into the MAR so that I can go fetch this instruction. You go to memory, the memory gets the contents of the MAR, uh, the location of MAR, goes to memory, gets the contents in that location and puts it into MDR. Whatever is in MDR gets put into the instruction register. And now we take the old value of PC, add 1 to it, and put it back into PC. So these are all the steps that are performed. So if you really look at it, I can say that the PC is read here and here. So the PC has to be read. And the PC is written to here because it's modified. So that's where the W comes from. Now if you look at the instruction register, all you do is modify it. So the instruction register is all of them will write to it. Then effective address register is not involved here so there's nothing here uh, because I don't know what I'm doing with the address. So MAR is both read as written to and it's also read. So that all of them will read and write the MAR. And the MDR is both written, this is written to and read. So all of them will read and write. By all, I mean the all instructions. So the, in this particular example, let's say I'm only interested in looking at LDR um, and add. Let's take one load instruction, uh, one, one mo movement instruction, one arithmetic logic instruction, arithmetic instruction, and one control instruction and see what happens in each case. So that's our, our fetch instruction. So if I look at the decode, in, decode step, all the, the decode step doesn't do anything with the PC, doesn't do any of these steps, but all it does is it reads the instruction register bits 15 through 12 because that's where the op code is so to figure out what needs to happen. So all it's doing is it's reading the instruction register. So there's a all of them will involve a read of the instruction register. The evaluate address. So we know that both LDR and BR and we'll see why. LDR format looks like this. LDR says here's the destination register, the base register and the offset. And the offset. So I take the base register, add the offset to it, take this and this is going to sit in my effective address register and I go to memory with it 
fetch the contents of that location and put it in the destination. So in order for this to happen, the effective address register has to be both modified because that's what this writing to it means. So effective address register in LDR's case is going to both be read and written to. The PC is untouched. The instruction register will be read because that's how I know what my source and destinations are. So all of them will read the instruction register. That's where the which register to read and all that information is there. The memory address register is so the way I go to memory is by taking whatever is in the EAR and writing it to the MAR and then going to memory with the MAR and putting it in MDR and then whatever is in MDR goes into the destination register. So what I can tell is clearly that EAR is written and all of them, so actually I'll just write LDR from now. LDR will both read and write MAR and the MDR is also both, for, at least in LDR's case, I both read and write. Uh, now, if I look at the fetch data, fetch data or is the same as operand fetch. Fetch data is to fetch from, this is from memory. So, ah, let's uh, fix this. This, these are not yet happening because all I do is compute the address here. So LDR, only the computation of the address, only this step happens here. So I'm going to write to the LD, into the EAR, but the actual transfer in fetch data, I'll copy what is in EAR into MAR. So LDR will do a read write to the MAR and it also uh, involves copying the MDR. So MDR will now, LDR will also do a read write here. So because that's my fetch from memory and Execute doesn't have anything for any of these guys. Nothing changes in execute really because none of these registers get modified. But the destination register gets written to and the destination register gets written to by taking the contents of MDR. So MDR is going to be read here and we, sorry, for LDR instruction, the MDR is going to be read. Here it's only actually being written to, but here it's going to be read and we copy it into the destination register. So what about add? Add doesn't have anything other than the decode here. We don't evaluate any address. We fetch, there's nothing to go to memory for and we just execute it. Executing will actually change some destination registers. So if there were more registers here, then that will show up here. But right now there's nothing of that size. And the same thing with store result. If there was a destination register, that will show up here for add also. But we don't have anything. So add doesn't do anything in any to these registers in execute. Something happens with respect to execute, but not to those registers. And so uh, if I look at my branch, branch is the same thing. Branch does evaluate an address, but I don't fetch any data because I just transferred to that location. Again, nothing gets modified. So branch does a write to the PC because the, if it if it decides to branch, so that is saying on branch. If the branch condition is satisfied, then I will write to the PC because I'm going to change the PC to be equal to whatever is in the EAR register. Whereas this one here says, whatever is in the MDR has to go to the destination register. That's only happening for LDR. So that's our entire table.